Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us these Shure Aeonic 40 wireless noise cancelling headphones. Coming from an established brand best known for developing professional grade audio tech for musicians and audio lovers alike, the Aeonic 40 is the successor to the Aeonic 50 as a slightly more affordable headset that doesn't waver on performance, delivering studio quality audio in both professional and everyday use. In short, these headphones offer more control to sound output with the addition of the app and the choice of wired or wireless connection. On top of this, you also have a handful of specific features that either help keep you connected to the world around you with just the press of a button or let you easily block it out in the same instant when it's time to focus. Opening up the box, the lid folds away revealing a simple diagram for button controls as well as the correct accompanying app that you need to download to control the headset. The quick start guide is beautifully simple with easy to understand graphics to get to know every function which is especially helpful for navigating the various touch patterns with the five onboard buttons. Instantly, you see that beautiful hard storage case covered in what seems to be a faux leather. Inside, you get a small pocket for storing additional accessories like this 3.5mm audio connection cable. One of the highlights of this headset is, of course, its foldable nature. Folding the headphones, it can be a little fiddly to collapse, especially if they only fit into the case in a specific way. Luckily, the bottom of the case comes with a quick diagram to help get the fit right every time by simply matching the shape below. You may want to try and force them into the bottom each time, but as the helpful diagram suggests, the headband sits on the top of the shelf rather than inside it. Just inside the case, you'll also find this little elastic loop for keeping the USB-C charging cable to hand. Now it's not exceptionally long, measuring 40 inches, but I found it was fine for plugging into my PC or a nearby power outlet without it straining. Picking up the headset for the first time, it unfolds easily into place without too much trouble. The hinges do overextend slightly and can pinch your fingers when moving it into place if you're not careful, but generally the twist and swivel is very smooth. They do feel nicely weighted, like you would expect a high quality headset to feel. Built using a good strong plastic and varying high quality materials on the headband and cups for added comfort. Though premium in feel, they don't feel super heavy, only weighing about 300 grams, which is a nice weight for travel. You'll only find two subtle Shaw logos in sight, leaving the majority of the design nice and clean. The overall shape is also quite interesting, going for that fluid, round look and feel with no sharp edges in sight. Now it comes in two colour variations, a white and tan look, as well as your classic all black, perfect for marrying into any style. Now personally, I wouldn't choose white with the matte plastic texture, picking up black smudges and marks quite easily, but if well cared for, it does pass off that luxury aesthetic with ease. Out of the box, they do feel generally sturdy. The collapsible nature can make regular storage and handling a little awkward, but having the proper storage box does help keep them secure in the folded position to stop any damage. Flexibility overall is very generous, letting me twist them side to side and in an outwards motion considerably without any strain. As a wireless headset, you get a series of controls with various functions on the outer ear cups to help navigate the majority of the features. On the left, you get one power button that also doubles up for Bluetooth pairing, and on the right, there's four buttons, three of them for controlling your usual volume and play pause settings, and one separate button for the two special functions, noise cancellation and environment mode. It will take a bit of time memorizing the touch sequence or hold time for switching between or toggling on and off each function, but they are pretty responsive, working immediately as stated in the guide with a whooshing sound indicator to let you know when it's turning on and off. The buttons are raised so it's quite easy to locate, and I like how the mute noise control button is separate from the volume controls so I can find it easily enough by touch alone. On the outside of the right earpiece, you'll also find a 3.5mm audio cable port as well as USB-C input for charging. This is very handy knowing that I'll most likely have one of these cables already around the house if I need it. Putting them on my head, they're incredibly roomy, sitting over my ears completely. The headband adjustment is generous, with about 1.5 inches extension on both sides. On full extension, there's plenty of room, reassuring anyone with a larger or smaller head size that it will fit just about anyone. As always, there's a clear indicator for left and right on the inside of the ear cups. It's good to know that there is a thin cushioning on the inside to give my ears something to rest against over long periods of time. The padding on the ear cups seems to be regular foam inside coupled with a faux leather covering, which is overall pretty comfortable against my ears. The only slightly odd part here is that the headband has a silicon padding. It's a little harder than usual, but it does help prevent it from digging into my head over time, which is a plus. 
Overall, it has excellent clamping force. It's enough pressure to offer a natural noise cancelling effect, staying firmly on my head when walking around and bending down. It's nicely balanced, not pressing down too hard, making it comfortable to wear for hours at a time, without being made aware that I'm even wearing a headset. I could also wear them pretty well around my neck as well when not using them, utilising that foldable nature well as they sit nice and flat to my chest. So what makes these headphones different from any others like their kind on the market? Sure, should sit high on the radar when you first think of a premium headset brand, because out of all the other high quality sets that I've tried in the noise cancelling department, these are the most comfortable yet. In terms of features, you get some top level noise cancelling tech that's completely adjustable with just a click of a button. Using the button on the earpiece, you can turn it on and off whenever you need it, switching out the environment mode when walking, or having a conversation to temporarily disable the noise cancellation effect. Surprisingly, the ANC frequency can be adjusted, so if, like me, you sometimes suffer with the strength of the effect, you can alter it to best suit your preference. With noise cancelling active on max, it generally toned down the majority of the surrounding sound like the radio, fans and general activity in a busy space. Even on the highest frequency, I can still hear conversations happening around me without any music playing, but once I turned on my favourite tracks, everything else just melted away. Environment mode almost sounds the same as if you were wearing regular headphones, but with a slight white noise effect, which I feel is far more comfortable than turning all the effects off completely. I like how I can change the effect level on the environmental mode, letting me raise or lower it to hear traffic, conversations or alerts, which is great as everyone's hearing capabilities are different. Listening to music, I can hear the years of development put into the studio quality sound. While movie sound is still beautifully layered and rich with surround sound effects, it's hardly comparable to the almost live quality that it puts out for sound. It's incredibly immersive. I feel like I was listening to some of my most familiar tracks the way that the artist intended me to hear it. The bass is the most immersive, as music swells perfectly in all the right places. And on top of it all, I could hardly hear anything from my surroundings that could potentially take me out of this experience. Of course, you get a varying experience depending on how you're connected and what you're listening to. Low quality, unofficial music from YouTube sounded flat and oddly distorted but plugging into something like Spotify, audiobooks or radio broadcasts, I got the full effect of the quality it could achieve, and that alone makes these headphones especially desirable. fascination with platters of immaculate canapes would wane when I would no longer set my alarm to get a hotel breakfast. Devlin was right about a lot of things, but not about this. There is a microphone on the side for picking up your voice during calls. Though I didn't really test this for that purpose, it's good to know that it's there in case of answering my phone on the go and not having to have my phone in my hand to do it. Though it's largely built for good on the go sound, it's also designed to connect directly to your devices via wired connection. The wired option was a little hit and miss through my PC, especially when accidentally activating Bluetooth mode as I could hear the vocal command in the background while listening to other content. However, I mainly found the audio to be much stronger through Bluetooth connection. It does pair easily enough directly through the device settings like any other headset would, but having the app to hand elevates the control aspect hugely by giving a good indication to what I have connected and what features I have enabled. Now in terms of battery, Shaw suggests that it has up to 25 hours capacity on full charge, taking as little as an hour to charge completely. I know with most wireless headsets, it's sometimes difficult to keep track of the battery status. Luckily, there's plenty of ways to find out with the visual options through the app or on your connected device. But what's most interesting is the ability to double press the power button and hear the battery status directly through the headset. Straight out of the box, it already had about 20% power, but it's not kidding around when it says it has fast charge. The battery went from 19% to 80% in as little as 20 minutes, which is perfect for charging quickly in a hurry. Another handy feature I loved having was the auto power off when not in use. You need to set a time limit within the app if you wanted to turn off after anything longer than 10 minutes, but I found this incredibly helpful when I forget to power it down after use. Now I do love a good app when it comes to headphone control, and the Shure Plus Play app is worth downloading if you want to make the most out of some of those hidden features that you won't discover through the headset alone.
It's completely free and it's got bucket loads of control on top of allowing you to update the firmware for ultimate functionality day to day. Now it comes with the usual personalization controls and battery indicators, as well as some handy tools like refreshing your mind on button functions, altering alert tones, and switching to conference or busy mode when using the headset for different activities. Of course, if you're an audiophile, you'll want to get more into the customizable EQ settings. If you want a quick fix, then the presets will let you choose an effect that complements what you're listening to, like loudness for clarity on low volume, when listening to music while you work, or even vocal boost for clearer sound in podcasts and audiobooks. But if you know your stuff, you can very specifically alter the tiniest details for the perfect sound quality, which is brilliant for those who want to use these headphones in professional projects. There's even a section for adding your own music directly to the app, so you don't have to rely on streaming services on patchy Wi-Fi connections. It does only work with certain things like music purchased through iTunes or airdrop services on Apple devices, for example, but it's a good surefire way of accessing your music directly at all times. So overall, this headset does do what it says on the box, offering portable studio quality sound no matter where you go. The foldable nature can be a little awkward at times, but when wearing it, it feels nice and secure, fitting brilliantly to practically any head size thanks to the wide extension range on the headband. It's pretty durable, but does have the convenience of packing away into a hard case included, so you'll always be able to keep it protected when traveling. The app makes controlling the headset much more manageable from enabling and disabling features to keeping an eye on battery life. The quick charge feature lets me put it on charge last minute if I forget, and the universal USB-C connection means I'm never really without a wire, so if you really need an accurate, high-quality sound system, whether that's for work or simply down to personal preference, then I can say you get everything you could possibly need in this professional quality headset. So what are your thoughts on the Shaw Aeonic 40 headphones? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.